Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, enough magic tricks for the present. Right now I'm going to demonstrate a couple of puppets that can be made with nothing more than a table napkin. This is Fatima, the beautiful Egyptian belly dancer. This is her turban. These are her shoulders. And these are her legs. Fatima was a dancer, hey? For 50 cents, she danced this way. But if one dollar you would pay, she do ta ra ra boom ta. Thank you, my lovely. And now a rabbit, a talking rabbit. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine, what's your name? My name is Hank. Well, you're a very cute young rabbit. Oh, thank you very much. You know, kids, your parents may have told you that this rabbit isn't really talking. I'm just throwing my voice. Even so, isn't the illusion of life irresistible? They're pretty resistant. Actually, they think you're the worst ventriloquist they've ever seen. <laughs> what are you, a mind reader? Don't have to be. Just look at their faces. Take a good look. Look at that kid in the green shirt. All right, Hank. Just to humor you, I'll look at the young man in the green shirt. Excuse me while I humor the rabbit. Well, Hank, you would have chosen the cruelest little twerp in the entire audience. Oh, yeah. He's cruel. He's so cruel. He's... Wait a minute. I know where this is going. He is not cruel, and he would not tie my ears together. Hank, you are a mind reader. That's exactly what that little young man would do. No, no, somebody stop him. He's going to hurt me. Somebody. Now hold on. Stop it, Hank. Hank, this will be easier if you don't resist. Oh, 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 oh. you don't bother the people. Oh, 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 You know, Hank, you look better with a smaller head and longer ears. Maybe 
if I tightened your head a little more, it might disappear, along with your sassy comments. No, that never works. All I get is a splitting headache, and all you get is a knot so tight you can never untie it. I got a lot of handkerchiefs. Let's find out. No! Oh, 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 oh. Now, now. Oh, it is getting tight. Well, of course it worked. I said it would work. It always works. For I... I am the great Bombasto, magician extraordinaire, and ventriloquist deluxe. This portion of the video is for magicians only. If you're not a magician, please tune out. I'm not going to be describing the Berg slight in detail. I had planned on doing so, but after watching a Ricky J video on YouTube, I was shamed out of it. Uh, any complaints, please address them to Mr. J. I am going to present some points on presentation, and lest any non-magicians have lingered, I'm going to use a few acronyms, but if you've studied magic for more than six months, you shouldn't have any difficulties. This routine is audience tested. It works. Point one. Don't neglect to precede the rabbit phase of the routine with Fatima. Fatima is entertaining in her own right, and since repetition is the only MD that this routine possesses, along with outright rep misrepresentation, uh, you'd be foolish to leave it out. Oh, and I will be citing references at the end of this video where you can find detailed explanations of, uh, of both phases of the routine. The best prop for this routine is a linen table napkin at least 25 inches on a side with a very thin hem. A heavy starch helps. Silk tends to jam and tear. Don't make a move out of prepping the rabbit. Again, the MD covers you. It's all the cover you need. Point four, this routine is just about angle proof. Point five, if broad comedy is not your forte, this routine is not for you. References. First reference I found to Fatima was in a genie magazine from the early 60s. I can't cite volume and number, but it's the issue with William W. Larson Sr. on the cover. It was a memorial tribute issue to him. Uh, if you don't have a file of genies, uh, just watch the video a few times. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Excuse me, I'm broadcasting from a zoo. The best reference for the Berg Knot is Martin Gardner's Encyclopedia of Impromptu Magic. It's in the section under handkerchiefs. 
Finally, my thanks to Ricky J for coaxing me onto the straight and narrow, to Martin Gardner, and most of all to Joe Berg for a first class piece of magical thinking. This the Joe Berg knot has been in print for more than 50 years, and yet I've never seen it performed. I hope this video will help to change that. It's, it's too good to be lost. Thanks for watching.